Have you ever been wanting to start your very own YouTube channel, but kept pushing it back because you lack expensive equipment? Well, today is your lucky day. Hey guys, I'm Glenn from Glenn Prince Tech, and today I'm going to show you how to make YouTube videos on a budget. Stay tuned. So I too have been wanting to make YouTube videos for quite a while now, but I always felt like I needed the right equipment to get started. I thought I needed an expensive camera, a heavy duty tripod, a really good microphone, a high end computer to edit my videos, proper lighting and the list goes on and on. But the more I did research about equipment needed to start a YouTube channel, the more I realized that I don't need much in order for me to start uploading videos to YouTube. Here are a few inexpensive items I use to make YouTube videos. This is a Samsung Galaxy Note 4. A six-year-old phone which is still capable of recording in full HD. Right now, this phone retails for less than 150 US, which should be well within the budget of a lot of people. As you can see, by applying some basic color correction, you can get some pretty good looking footage from the Note 4. Although I am not a betting man, I am willing to bet that the phone that you own costs more than this dinosaur. So this is a good sign. Because most of you already have a capable smartphone, you are well on your way to making YouTube videos. The next thing I use is this Pop Voice Lavalier microphone, which significantly improved my audio quality. It's a wired mic with a 3.5mm jack attached to a 6-foot cable. It also comes with an adapter which, when connected to the mic, can be used to record on your computer. I have done a few recordings with this microphone on my computer, but I get much better sound quality when I connect it to my phone and use my recording app to do voiceover. Listen to the difference between the built-in mic on my smartphone and the Pop Voice Lavalier microphone. What you are hearing now is audio from the mic on my smartphone. And this is audio from my external Lavalier microphone. Can you tell the difference? I certainly can. Back in December, I got this for only $14.99 on Amazon. Next, I have a Comdi mini tripod, which I use to support my phone while recording. It is super affordable at only $9.99 and has flexible legs which allows me to wrap it around a pole, a door handle or even a tree branch to get the best possible shot. The build quality is not something to rave about, but for $10 I can't complain. Now I will show you a free video editing software and the computer that I use to edit my videos. This is the HP Pavilion DV6. A laptop even some of your grandparents may be familiar with. Yes, it is old, but it gets the job done. Again, I'm willing to bet that your current laptop or desktop computer is in better shape than mine. So if I can edit videos on old faithful here, you should have no problem doing the same. This video editor is called Wondershare Video Editor and it's absolutely free. What I love about it is just how simple it is to navigate and understand. If you're looking to start a YouTube channel, chances are you don't have a lot of experience editing videos. So this is just what you're looking for. Just so you know, I fast forwarded the video after opening up Wondershare. It took almost a minute to open up. That's the drawback of having an old computer. So what you want to do is select 16 by 9 because this is the aspect ratio our YouTube videos will be in. Then we click on full feature mode. To open a file, click on import media files here, then select whatever file you want to use in your video. Now once you drag the files in your timeline, you can add text, make use of special effects, transitions, split screens and so much more. Although you can start recording videos without a microphone or a tripod, it is not something that I would recommend doing. The tripod gives you much needed stabilization during recording and the microphone is essential for audio quality. Here are a few basic tips for anyone trying to start a YouTube channel. The first one is starting now. 
When it comes to YouTube, now is always the best time to start as there are thousands of people who start their YouTube journey every day. So the longer you wait, the more saturated your niche will become. The second tip is to have good lighting conditions. Now you can easily go to Amazon or eBay and get yourself a set of lights for $50 which will be good but it's not a requirement to start. You may be quite surprised just how well natural lighting works. Never underestimate the power of sunlight. Open up a window and see the difference it will make. With that being said, you don't want harsh sunlight hitting you directly because it will look like this. The third one is your audio quality. Although the mic in your smartphone is decent, an external microphone should be priority. People are more likely to watch a video with subpar video quality than one with terrible audio. If I sounded like this, would you stick around? So guys, I am sorry for the bad audio quality, but I'm sure you will stick around to enjoy it. Guys? Hello? Guys? Guys? Another important factor in getting good audio quality is your ambient noise, your surroundings. This is something that many people ignore during recording but find out the hard way while editing. Where I am right now recording is probably one of the top 10 worst places to record a video. This is because I am sandwiched between two streets. Traffic is constantly flowing with loud motorcycles, sports cars, and even loudmouth people who give them stiff competition. Some of you can relate. Listen to this. The fourth and probably one of the most important points is finding something that you love. Make videos about whatever you have a passion for. People who know me know that I am passionate about football, but I also have a passion for technology. Hence my channel, Glen Prince Tech. When you are passionate about something, you will be intrinsically motivated, so when the going gets tough, you won't quit. Starting a YouTube channel is very easy. Growing that channel, that's difficult. Always approach every situation with an open mind and be thankful for the subscribers that you already have. Too many times I see people, some with 700, 800 or even 2,000 subscribers complain about not having enough followers. I started recording YouTube videos at the end of February and so far I am very satisfied with the support that I have gotten. You guys have allowed me to move from zero subscribers to 250 subscribers which is a big deal for me. I really hope these tips were helpful to you and you're in the process of creating your own YouTube channel. To my fellow small YouTubers, I wish you nothing but the best. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel for more tech videos. As always, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Peace! The fourth and probably one of the most important points The fourth Oh my god What did I do to deserve this? Can you tell the difference? I certainly can. Although I am not a betting man, I went to bet that that gonna make noise, and I win the bet. <laughs>